Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Have you ever wondered why some people tend to hit a lot of aces and others don't? Well, it usually comes down to just one simple answer. Those kinds of people that hit aces actually practice to hit aces. Now, how do you do that? That's very simple as well. You got to have a target in mind all the time and you got to make sure that you hit your serves as hard as you can when you practice. Now, those two things seem a bit scary to a lot of people because most people just think about putting the ball inside the court. That's the number one priority. And while that obviously starts you the point and you know, keeps you away from unnecessary double faults, it also keeps you away from practicing precision and practicing actually winning the point off of your serve. Now, in order to practice that properly, this is the first change you have to make. You have to get yourself in a mental state of actually wanting to finish off the point with the first shot already, rather than being satisfied with having a defensive re response from your opponent. So it's very important that you set your standards high for this. Otherwise, you will not be able to hit aces in the long run. As you can see, we set up a couple of cones here. Two over here, two over there. Now, contrary to what most coaches do and what most players practice, you're not trying to aim at the cones, okay? You're trying to use the cones to create a zone for yourself that you're aiming for. So in this case, you see these two cones, they're pretty close to the sideline here, okay? You can imagine this zone between the single sideline and the cones, okay? Imagine there's a line going through the cones, the triangular zone. That is your zone that you're aiming for when you're trying to hit an ace out wide. Now, why are the cones so close to the line? If I put the cones here, for example, it would still be an out wide serve, but you could hit your target and the opponent would still reach the ball relatively easily, okay? So that's a big problem. Since you're trying to practice for aces, you gotta make sure that you put your cones close to the sidelines so you give it a good angle on that serve because everybody knows the out wide serve is a slower serve than down the T serve. So that means you have to have a better angle further away from your opponent to actually cause an ace to happen. Now, if we're taking a look at the T serve here, I did the same thing, okay? We have two cones here, which are parallel to the center line. And again, the spot here, the space here is very small. So you have a rectangular zone here that you're trying to aim for, okay? Ideally, you want the ball to go very close to the uh, center line here, okay? Serve over here could be enough for an ace, but it could not be depending on the level of your opponent and the speed of your serve, okay? So now, very important, whenever you practice and you want to work on hitting aces, these are the only targets you should hit, okay? The body serve does not matter because the body serve is a serve that will never give you an ace. Now, obviously, the same exact thing applies to the ad side here. You can see the cones out wide again, okay? And here the cones down the tee. The main difference here, though, is that every serve that you would hit from the deuce side out wide, where you're using that slice, can now be applied to the T-serve, okay, the serve that bounces over here, from the ad side. And the flat serve that would go down the T from the deuce side is the flat serve that would go out wide from the ad side, okay? So very important, adjust your stance accordingly so you can use the same type of serves to reach those two targets that give you an ace. Now looking at it from this side, you can see how little space you really have putting up the zones like this, okay? That's what makes it a little bit difficult because it feels like it's almost impossible to get the ball into those zones on a consistent basis. But if you don't practice it, it will never happen. The good thing is that you don't need to put 100% of your serves into those zones because it's good enough if you put 60-70% of your balls in there at a high speed. That's actually very, very high level. Most ATP players, for those of you who watch tennis out there, do not have a first serve percentage of higher than 65% if they are players that actually hit aces, okay? If you have a higher first serve percentage, around 70, 80, sometimes even 85%, that usually means that you give the first serve a lot more spin, a lot less power, and you're not working on precision as much as you are working on getting the ball to the back end or to the forehand of your opponent in a position where you can then start a neutral baseline rally. But that's very counterproductive if you're actually thinking about hitting aces. Now, one last thing, going back to the mental state I mentioned in the beginning. If you are happening in a match to hit a first serve far off of your target, let's say you're aiming for the tee and the ball goes towards the body of your opponent and they don't return the serve, 
Most players are actually very happy about that because they won the point, they feel like their serve was good. The problem with that is you actually completely failed because you were so far off of your target. So for someone who hits aces, hitting the ball into the right spot is more important than winning the point because you know that if you hit your spot, you will win the point anyway. So it's a very important uh, mental change that you have to go through if you actually want to develop into a player that hits a lot of aces. Now I'm gonna show you a quick exercise that you can do any day by yourself with just a basket of balls to work on hitting more aces by yourself. Now, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna take 10 serves to aim for the deuce side for that zone that I already showed you guys earlier. Then I'm gonna take 10 serves to hit towards the out wide cone zone. And I'm gonna do the same thing from the ad side. So that totals to 40 serves. And all I'm gonna count is how many of those 40 serves do I actually put into the zone that I'm aiming for. Now ideally, I would get at least four or five into that zone. Even better if it was an ATP player, probably five, six, seven, right? Depending on the day. Now there's a couple of things you always have to account for, especially in the beginning. It wouldn't be too surprising if you had most put one out of the 10 serves into that zone. That's totally normal, but you gotta stick with it and get closer and closer to the zones as you practice. Now, one more thing to consider is the conditions. So today we can see here there's a decent amount of wind. So it's actually a lot more difficult to get your serves into the spot that you're aiming for. Aside from that, are you actually practicing a lot or are you not? In my case, I haven't really been practicing a lot. So I expect myself to be at, at most be able to put two or three out of 10 into those zones. Now that doesn't reflect what it would be like if you actually hit a lot of aces in a match. In that case, you would need at least, as I mentioned, the five or six would be ideal to actually get enough aces or service winners out of your serve to have a substantial advantage in your service games. Now we're gonna start with 10 balls down the tee from the deuce side. That was a broken ball. All right, now the serves out wide. So as we can see, I managed to put roughly three to four into the zone when I was aiming down the tee. And I was able to put four into the zone when I went out wide. Now it's above my expectations to be honest, but it's still far from perfect if you're trying to rely on the serve a lot in your games. Now let's start with the ad side. I'm gonna start hitting out wide first. A little adjustment, toss this a bit too far in front.
how to keep the tusk better. Now we're going to do 10 serves down the tee. Let me retake that one. All right, so on this side, I did a bit worse than on the other side. Here, I only managed to put one ball into the zone when I was serving out wide, but I was able to do five, maybe six, I couldn't really tell if the last one was in or not, from, uh, when I was serving down the tee. Now, this shows you a couple of things. Number one, I perform a lot better today when I'm serving a slice serve, okay? From this side, I had one more going out wide than I served down the tee, adding my slice. From the ad side, I even had four, maybe even five more going into the zone when I was serving down the tee. So that means that today, it would actually be a better idea in a match to serve into that zone. Problem is, if I keep doing that all over and over again, my opponent will get used to it, already take a step over there and have an easy time returning the shots. Now, one more piece of advice. Obviously, a lot of you are not going to serve at 120, 130 miles per hour, and that's totally fine, okay? But the point is, even if you serve softer, if you put your targets up, you will get better at being precise. And if you always force yourself to hit as hard as you possibly can, you will over time increase your serving speed. Now, because it's pretty frustrating in the beginning, if you've never done this before, to put the cones that close to the line, because you're probably not going to put many balls into the zones that you're aiming for. You should probably put the cones a little bit further away from the line for the start. And once you become a bit more comfortable hitting your balls into those zones, meaning you at least reach like three or four out of 10 with the bigger targets, that's when you're trying to start pushing your cones closer to the lines again in order to get more practice out of it. Because the further the cones are away from the line, the less likely you are to hit an ace if you put your shots into those zones, okay? One last thing, you probably saw me hit a couple of uh, serves that went kind of close to the zone but not inside. Don't trick yourself, don't tell yourself that those balls are counting as being in because they're most likely being returned. So it's very important that you're honest to yourself when you do these exercises so you learn how to really hit a good serve on a consistent basis to win your matches with more free points. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.